Hey, welcome back to Ballistic Test Without the BS. Today we're going to be shooting another 30-06 load, the Remington 180 grain core lock tipped. So first let's take a look at the box and see what Remington says about this ammo. Once again, it's the core lock tipped. They bill it for deer, elk, and hogs. Sort of medium to medium large game. Let's flip it over, see what they have to say. I'll go ahead and just read this. So core lock tipped. They've put a big green polymer tip up front to improve aerodynamics and uh, enhance rapid expansion. Apparently they have redesigned the profile of the bullet to make it more aerodynamic. It's got the classic core locked core and apparently according to this, the center of gravity has been moved rearward to improve accuracy. In terms of claimed velocity, we're looking at 2,745 feet per second at the muzzle. And as always, we're gonna see how true that is. And to be fair, those stated velocities from the manufacturers, they almost always use a 24 inch test barrel. Why, I don't know, because almost all rifles except Magnum calibers are using 22 inch barrels these days. Um, and, and even if you had a 24 inch barrel, I think those velocities are exaggerated a bit 90% of the time. And as always, we'll take a quick look at the ammo first. So the brass is nice and clean. I didn't see any dings or dents or anything like that in it. Really, really good looking ammo. Let's look at the bullet. So it's got that green poly tip. I checked where all of them were seated. They were very consistent in terms of where the bullets were seated right there on the cantaloupe. Um, it's good looking ammo. And another quick note on Remington ammo. So in case you don't know, Remington, the entire, the entire Remington group of companies went through bankruptcy a few years ago and it got parted out and divvied up amongst its various subgroups, Remington Arms, Remington Ammo, all that stuff. And the ammo portion um, went to the same company that owns Federal Ammo. So the same people that are in charge of Federal are now making Remington Ammo. And I don't know about you, but, but I really like that because Federal Ammo tends to be extremely high quality, very, very consistent. And I'm noticing that with factory Remington Ammo these days as well. And the test rifle today is my Tika T3X Super Light Stainless. It's got a 22.4 inch barrel and I've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope on there. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. All right, so let's get to shooting before this thunderstorm rolls in. All right, so I come down here to the block after the first shot to take a look, hit it dead center real nice um, wound cavity going in going back and there it is we captured it beautifully right in the middle of that second block and it looks like it it held together pretty good there's some fragments there but we'll weigh it later and see and as far as penetration goes on this first shot at least we are right at 23 and a half inches that is pretty good all right so i'm going to dig this bullet out of there swap the blocks and go back for shots two and three and in case you wonder how I get the slow-mo shots, there's my slow-mo camera right there. All right, so we're down here after the second and third shots. This is what the blocks look like after that um, third shot. Of course, I come back and set them up after the second as well to align them. But we did not capture the third bullet. It veered off out of the second block right here and went off to the side somewhere. But we did get the first one in there. It's the second one right there and I've realigned the blocks to get a penetration depth and it looks like that second bullet came in right about 21 and a quarter or 21 and 3 eighths inches of penetration. All right, so interesting little happening here. I was just pulling that second bullet out of the block and the core lock bullets are not bonded and you can see that the core actually separated out from the jacket. I grabbed on to the base of the copper jacket right there in the block with my long nose pliers and pulled out and it just popped off the core. So that's interesting. All right, let's look at the velocities for that Remington 180 grain core lock tipped out of the 30 out six. That's just the last shot that I fired. So we've got the high velocity was 26 29 feet per second a low was 2594 and the average is 2607 
All right, let's go ahead and take a look at these 180 grand Remington core lock tipped bullets. The average weight was 130 grains, that's 72% weight retention. That's not bad, I wish it was a little bit more, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. And then in terms of expanded diameter, the average was 0.65 inches, with one of these bullets being 0.63 inches and the other being 0.67 inches, so expansion was very consistent. And overall, the average was 2.1x diameter expansion. And as far as velocity goes, our average velocity was 2,607 feet per second versus a build velocity of 2,745. So we didn't come anywhere near the build velocity. In fact, we were 138 foot per second slower on average. The low velocity was 2,594 and the high was 2,629. Now to be fair, most 180 grain bullets out of a 30-06 are build more around 2,700 feet per second. So... I'm not sure why Remington put such a high advertised velocity, but we didn't hit it. And even if it was billed at 2700, we still wouldn't hit that either. Now, one area where this particular ammo did kind of shine was penetration. We got really good penetration. So the average was 22.4 inches. One bullet was 23 and a half inches, the other was 21 and a quarter, and of course we didn't recover the third bullet. Um, but overall, the penetration was really good, and I think there's, there's sort of a give and take there. When you get really deep penetration, typically you don't get the expansion, and that is the case with this particular ammo. We got 2.1x expansion, but with some of the other loads that I've tried, we got more expansion than that. But with this Remington Core Locked, we got more penetration. So closing thoughts on the Remington 180 grain core lock tipped out of a 30-06. We saw good expansion, 2.1x, not the highest that I've seen, but definitely not horrible, not a deal breaker. As long as I see 2x or more at 100 yards, I'm personally happy with it in a modern bullet. We saw a little bit less weight retention than some other bullets that I've tried, 72%. Again, not a deal breaker, it's fine. And this is billed as a longer range bullet. So if you were to, you know, make impact out at 200 yards, 300 yards, longer range, I'm sure you would see better weight retention. And then there was the velocity. It did come in quite a bit lower than build, but not the end of the world. Everyone knows that's gonna happen with factory ammo. They always trump it up way higher than it's actually gonna do. So all in all for me, if I had a rifle that particularly liked this ammo and I was hunting at a little bit extended range, I would go for it, I would use it. It's not going to be my first choice, but if I had a rifle that really, really liked it, I'd use it. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.